Hey folks, welcome back to Cats and Kilos. And so tonight what we're gonna talk about with Professor over here is Oppenheimer, the movie I just saw earlier today. And uh, the reason that we're gonna talk about this is because if you haven't seen it and are not familiar at all with physics, this might help understand a little bit about what they're talking about when they're talking about the different types of bombs. So we're gonna keep it super simple it's gonna be super easy, you're gonna like it, and then if you do see the movie, it's just gonna make it a little bit easier to understand some of it. Although I think they did actually a pretty good job of putting it together. I liked it, I thought it was a pretty good movie. So with the help of Professor, let's talk about the different types of bombs that they talked about. So what was the first one? It was the atomic bomb, or the A-bomb, which is what the whole movie is really pretty much based around. And this one just refers to a fission reaction. It's a fission bomb. What does that mean? Remember back from high school, you were talking about the atom and they said, you know, that there was uh, protons and neutrons and the nucleus in the middle of the atom and there's all these electrons moving around. So if you get a bunch of protons and neutrons in something like say uranium or plutonium, there's just a bunch of these things in the middle and they're all stuck together. And if somehow you can split them apart, it releases a lot of energy, splitting the atom. So that will be the fission reaction of the atomic bomb, the A-bomb. So what then is an H-bomb or hydrogen bomb? Or nowadays it's also called a thermonuclear bomb. What that is, is what we just talked about, the same thing, it's an atom bomb, an A-bomb, right? But in addition to that though, they also have a type of hydrogen in there too. And what happens when that bomb goes off, the atomic bomb, it releases all the energy, it also hits some hydrogen atoms in a way that causes them to fuse together. So what's hydrogen? Hydrogen, remember, it's like just one single proton instead of a bunch of stuff in the middle, right, in, in the nucleus, just a proton pretty much. Then there's an electron whipping around it. And this special type of hydrogen, in addition to the proton, it's also got one or two neutrons with it too. And when you hit them together, normally because they're both positively charged, they want to repel each other. Remember this whole thing. Don't worry about the details here. But instead of repelling each other, we're forcing them to fuse together. The fusion reaction, they fuse together and that releases a tremendous amount of energy. We're forcing a couple of these protons to come together. And so now instead of one proton, there's two of them in the nucleus, which makes it helium. Helium's got two protons in the nucleus, incidentally, right? So that turns the hydrogen into helium and it releases a tremendous amount of energy. A tremendous amount of energy, many times more powerful than just that simple atomic bomb by itself. So we need that fission reaction from that atomic bomb that we talked about first to then cause part two, that fusion reaction. So a hydrogen bomb is just the advanced version, next level of an atomic bomb. It's an atomic bomb with an extra layer causing a fusion reaction. Part one, fission, splitting apart. Part two, fusion, bringing together. So you do need the technology and the ability to build that atomic bomb first. You need that part of it in order to have part two, that fusion for them to come together for that fusion reaction in order to have the hydrogen bomb. So I hope that helps um, maybe clarify some things that they cover in the movie and then hopefully you will understand it a little bit better. And we left us so many details. If there's any interest, I guess we can get into more, but um, I don't know. We'll see what Professor wants to do also. And uh, if you like this video, please hit subscribe and, uh, you know, give us a like. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.